guys, this is Haley from OneOneRabbits.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to bond with your rabbit. So the first step is to get down on their level. Rabbits can be very intimidated by a human walking very tall above their head, so it is best to get down on the floor, sit down, even lay down if possible. This just helps make you look less daunting to your rabbit. The best thing to do is just lay on the ground and let your rabbit hop around you, sniff you, climb on you, and when you are first starting the bonding process, do not reach your hand out and try to pet your bunny. This can really startle them and cause them to run away. So while your rabbit is warming up to you, it's best to almost just ignore them. Just go on your phone, read a book, watch TV, and just let your rabbit do its thing. As time goes on and your rabbit is getting more comfortable with you, a really good thing is to offer treats. So while you're sitting or laying on the floor, anytime your rabbit comes up to you, go ahead and give them a treat. Your rabbit will then begin to associate with coming up to humans as a good and pleasant thing as rabbits love food and are very food motivated. After you've done this for a while and your rabbit's even more comfortable with you, you can try petting your bunny. Now this varies from rabbit to rabbit on when your rabbit will allow you to do so or when your rabbit will enjoy doing this. Some rabbits love to be pet the day you bring them home. This was definitely Lulu. She's always loved to be pet and will be pet anytime, anywhere. But then other rabbits like Ebony really don't enjoy being pet very much. Now in a bunny like Ebony who had a previous owner the first year and a half of her life, we don't know what kind of trauma, um, possible abuse or anything like that that could have gone on in her life. Because of that she may now negatively associate hands with humans um, if she previously had been hit or anything like that. So this really does depend on your bunny. Just to give you guys an idea, Lulu liked to be pet the day I brought her home. Ebony wouldn't let me touch her for the first three years I had her, but now she does allow pets under certain situations, and Sterling didn't want to be pet until he was about a year or two years old. Um, this was simply because he has so much energy that he doesn't have time to just sit still and be pet. He would rather just like run around and binky. Another really great thing to bond with your rabbit is positive reinforcement training. Now the purpose of this isn't to make your rabbits do cool tricks or perform or do any of that. The main reason is to increase your bond with your bunny. Um, also the extra exercise does really help and is very good for bunnies. So a wonderful thing to do is clicker training, you can do target training, um, you can do so many different things that are positive reinforcement. Another good thing to bonding with your rabbit is to provide a space that allows them to do so. Rabbits who are caged in a tiny little cage their whole life are not gonna create a very strong bond with you as they simply aren't interacting with you as much. The bigger the space your rabbit has and the closer that space is to you will really help that bond. Whether that is free ranging your bunny in a room or multiple rooms of your home or providing a very large pen with lots of free time for them to interact with you. It is also good to remember if you're free ranging or have very large cages that you are still providing safe places for your rabbit to be alone, like big hidey houses or something like that where your rabbit can get away and be alone if they need to be. Not allowing your rabbit these places to hide is unnatural for them as rabbits in the wild do live underground in burrows and it also can create stress and cause your rabbit to not want to bond with you even more. And the last but not least recommendation is to be patient. This process can take a lot of time. It can also happen very quickly. This all will depend on your individual rabbit. Some rabbits will bond immediately. Others may take up to a year or more. Rabbits who have a history with neglect or trauma will take longer to warm up than other rabbits. And also remember that all rabbits are not the same. Every rabbit has a different personality and that's what makes rabbits so amazing. Some rabbits will jump right on your lap, want you to pet them, want to lick you, want to be close to you, whereas other rabbits may just want you to pet them every once in a while and they may prefer just running around the house like crazy. So don't force your rabbit into something it's not comfortable with. This is like forcing an introvert to become an extrovert and that's just going against their nature and what they were born to be like. So just spend time with your bunny, figure out what they want and what they need and try not to force your rabbit into something you've seen on, you know, the internet or something like that because some bunnies just aren't that way. I hope you guys enjoyed this 
video, let me know down in the comments below what you do to bond with your bunny. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more rabbit care videos, and I will see you guys soon on a new one. Bye! Say